nice win last night in uh, playoff football. You want to uh, try and take control of things right away, and your team did that, didn't they? Kids came out and uh, just established the things that they uh, believe in offensively and defensively, uh, really honed in and uh, did a great job against the run and the pass. Offensively, you ran the ball great, but at times uh, they gave you that pass. You guys took advantage of it. Yeah. Well, th there was opportunities there, and uh, you know that we got. You know, we found ourselves in after holding penalty and things like that, and they were in passing situations too. So it's good to see them executed in those situations. In this span of time with only four or five days to get ready for a game. This is almost speed football as preparation goes. Talk to me about that and how you get your team ready in just a few days. Uh, you just have to uh, get right to work and you have to uh, get things ready. And, and the next day is just like your Monday and you don't have your weekend to, to get ready for the next opponent. You have to start grinding and getting on the uh, film, start your preparation work as soon as you can. As far as your players, how do you you know treat them to, so they're rested but not get too, how do, you, how do you get them ready? We try to make sure that especially by the time where you're at this time of year, you're, you're, you know, you're just basically uh, trying to stay in your normal weekly routine, but you're also trying to stay up on your feet when you're at practice and uh, uh, going through uh, getting into a little more group work and then getting right into your team stuff. It's uh, not necessarily into preseason type of practices and things of that nature. You've just got to make sure you're uh, getting into what you're doing and uh, taking maybe some of the little full speed stuff out of it at, at this time of year because there's such a short time you can't afford any kind of injury from a practice. Monday night at the pit, it will be Rock'em, Sock'em football at its best. You and Marceline both like to play power football. Uh, it should be a great game up front and from that aspect, right? Yeah, it'll be a great uh, old-fashioned type football game, absolutely. It'll be uh, teams that uh, really believe strongly in defense and teams that uh, uh, kind of take that same kind of bravado into their offensive approach. In a game like that, that could be low scoring, patience is key, right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it's a 48 minute game and you've got to continue to play it out and uh, see how things work. Every game we've ever had with Marceline have, have been great football games and uh, it just comes down to, you know, again, like you said, patience and being able to uh, cash in on different opportunities when they arise. In a game like this, late in the year, playoffs and everything that's on the line, this is where all that preparation early in the year with technique, tackle, and everything else, this is where that pays off, yeah. doesn't it? From the beginning of the year, from the summer, from if you're a senior, you know, from three years prior to in whatever it is, what age that you are, um, you know, you've got to try to get them uh, ready for these type of situations and be built for these situations and be ready when that opportunity comes. How do you do that? It's just, you know, laying bricks. You know, day to day, weight room, move into your summer and do the things that we do all the time. And, um, and so whether it be terminology and understanding different things from a defensive side of the ball or just your offensive rules and from blocking and just knowing different plays and things that build off different things. It just um, just build upon itself as uh, the more years that you put in and the more days that you put in. It's uh, you don't start putting the roof on. You got to start laying a foundation and it all builds from there. Uh, one final question. Let's talk. Uh, we do this a lot, but let's you're lying. They, they get it done. They're going to have to get it done on, on Monday night. But boy, they have they passed every test this year. Yeah. And it's just one more than on Monday night. It's another test. And, uh, and they've been in some, uh, they've seen some good size lines. They've seen some quick lines. Um, they've seen teams really bring a lot of pressure. And Marceline will be doing just that. And they've been tested at that. And they've just got to, again, it uh, doesn't matter what's happened pr previously. They've got to pass this week's test.